A couple of days ago, we are talking about a guy named uh, Pastor Manning. Uh, he's apparently the pastor of some uh, anointed church that he's probably made up. Uh, and uh, he's uh, otherwise known as Uncle Ruckus. Uh, he likes to criticize black people for being lazy and et cetera, et cetera. And uh, he's, of course, criticized President Obama for being a long-legged Mac daddy. <laughs> now, there's a lot of things to criticize President Obama for. I would not have gone in that direction. Um, and uh, the other day, he had this fascinating theory about how Newt Gingrich and Mitt Romney were partly black uh, based on their names and plus based on this insane theory that he had that uh, white women always had sex with the black porters on the trains and Newt's and Mitt's uh, dads must have at some, uh, moms must have at some point been on a train where they obviously had sex with black men, <laughs> resulting in Newt and Leroy McPherson. This man is insane. Now, uh, he finds out that he's uh, made, uh, basically made it onto the l largest online news show in the world, The Young Turks. He's ecstatic about this and decides to spend 20 some odd minutes talking about it. Uh, but I love the original uh, part of this where he's like, who's The Young Turks? What is that? I don't know what that is. Well, let's go to Mr. Uh, Manning here. And they were having a lot of fun uh, talking about me on yesterday, on Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. birthday. It appeared to me that this group, the Young Turks, who are they anyway? I mean, are they, are they people from Turkey or are they some sort of a street gang? I mean, <laughs> I've never heard, you know, I don't even, this is a guy's name, I think his name is Sink Uger. You know, I, what kind of name is that anyway? I mean, where is he? Where was he born? Was he born in the in the Baltic somewhere, Bosnia? You know, was he born on some <laughs> other planet? Why did he get a name like that in the first? And then the name Young Turks. Why don't they? You know, why don't they speak English? Whoever they are. Well, we do speak English. <laughs> I believe we were doing the broadcast in English. That's why you understood it. Second of all, it's not that complicated. I mean, one clue of where I am from originally is the name of the show is the Young. Turks. So, not the Balkans. Move a little bit. There you go, Turkey. Yes, that's where I was born. Congratulations. Of course, if you're born outside the country to Pastor Manning, you might as well be born in Mars. He's like, what is it? I don't understand. <laughs> okay. But one out of two ain't bad. He says Sink Uger, which is the most common mistake. And right. I don't blame him for that. He doesn't know how to pronounce the name, apparently. Uger's right, though. He got that right. Mm -hmm. It's actually Cenk, Pastor Manning, and I'm sure. Uh, and oh, by the way, uh, yes, we are an online show and, and, and also a television show, um, but no, we are not a street gang. <laughs> Although that sounds kind of cool, but that's not the direction that we've gone. Uh, there's more confusion about our identity as he continues. I don't know what this guy's name is, Sink? Maybe his name is 50 Sink? 50 Cent? Is his name 50 Cent? What's it? That 50, Sink? C-E-N-K? Maybe it's 50 Sink. Maybe it's spelled wrong. It should be a T at the end rather than a K, and we call him 50 Cent. And then they call him Yuka. I don't know, maybe it's Bob, maybe it's, maybe it's, it's Bob Yuka, his daddy. <laughs> Turns out my mom had also taken a train and Bob Yuka was on the train. <laughs> he was a porter, I didn't know. I'm sorry, Mom. All right, by the way, Bob Yuka joke is like the oldest joke in the world on the football team. Either you're Felix Unger or you're Bob Yuka. <laughs> no, 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 that's a good one, Pastor Manning. But you know what? I enjoy 50 Sink. It's kind of a, it's kind of an interesting nickname to have. Not bad. I'll take it. I love his attempt at being funny. Mm -hmm. Like you know, he's trying to connect with the younger viewers. Like yeah. ah, maybe his name is Fifty Cent. <laughs> Wait till he comes up with a nickname for you. <laughs> I know. I know. We're having fun. Now we go to skin tone issues. Uh oh. Sink sounds like chinch, but oh, go, go, let the let the rest. I mean, the pot ain't got no bills. Well, I can't say these because these are two white people. I guess this guy's white. He looks like he's an Arab or something. He looks like he got some <laughs> black blood in him. This guy's sick because he's really, he really brown skin. Let me compare. Put the two of us together. See who's the darker skin. Me and this guy sick. You know, he's probably passing for white anyway. Put it, put it, put it, put it, put it, put us up together. See, there I am, and there he is. Who's the darkest? Who got the darkest skin? How ignorant is this man? He, this is like Debbie Schlussel ignorant, okay? And that's pretty damn ignorant. Really, you're going to put up two different pictures and compare skin color? But, but what's hilarious about it, JR, is that he seems to be saying, well, look, this guy looks darker than I am, so hence what? I must be more guilty? Like, yeah, what is, so, what's his so point? what if I'm darker? What is that? I don't even know what that proves. First of all, you're not darker. I don't... <laughs> <laughs> I was still trying to follow. Wait, you're darker, but then you're passing for white. 
So I, I don't, I don't yeah, know. Yeah, that's I'm, you're right. That's the other thing I don't understand. I'm both darker and I'm apparently trying to pass for white. When obviously my mama was on a train with Bob Euchre and a porter. But, so I don't know if I'm passing for black or passing for whiteies, but wait till he gets to JR. Let's watch. This guy JR, let me say a word about him. I don't know where he got his name. JR Jackson. He's, he's, he's this guy, uh, Jinx Tonto. He said, you call <laughs> Jinx the Long Ranger. And this guy JR, call him Tonto because he's a, he's a sidekick. <laughs> this guy's got great nicknames for us, man. First of all, I like being the Lone Ranger. I think that's kind of fun. Uh, J Jar, though, I don't know how you feel about Tonto. First of all, I never really watched the show. I'm too, I guess I'm too young for that. It's uh, Long Ranger and, Ta and Tonto, right? Right. I know I've always heard it. I, I don't know, man. It's, it's awesome. This guy's awesome. I, I, but, you know, apparently I just co-sign. I go along. Is that what Tonto did? I don't know. Did you watch the show? In the, I, look, I, I, no I was even even I was a little too young for the Lone Ranger, but I, I remember there was the dude with the mask who was kind of a badass, mm -hmm. and then his Indian uh, sidekick who was I thought was even a b bigger badass, right? So uh, you know but, maybe but, though but, the, I guess he's disparaging you. First of all, Tonto's got uh, skin tone issues too. Yeah, we gotta put so, a picture. See whose skin tone is darker. Yeah, exactly. Because then uh, Pastor Manning is whoever's darker is the guilty one, <laughs> right? Because remember it, he started all this with like. Uh, I know Newt must be black because what did he say? Because Newt was uh, shiftless or something? Oh, because he's, uh, he's irrational and, and... Erratic and irrational, so he must be partly black. That's how much of a self-hater this guy Jeez. is. Okay. But I, I don't think Tonto and Lone Ranger are so bad. But apparently, uh, one more about uh, JR or, or Tonto here. Well, let me go back to this guy, J. Jar. I see he's got all <laughs> that dumb dreadlocks in his head. I said, well, you know, you know what? You know what? Can I tell you can something about black men that wear dreadlocks? They are. Uh, they want people to think they're bad, you know. Cause the Rastafarians used to, when the first one came out with that, you know, you know, all the rest of black people were in process, you know. They were having, having their hair cock. They had they had cockaline, but the Rastafarians, what? you know, Haley Selassie and all that crowd down in Jamaica and in Ethiopia, you know, they're the ones who came up with the dreadlocks, and then if you saw a man in dreadlocks, you say, well, black man, he must be really tough, and so scaredy cat. Sissified black men wear dreadlocks because they want everybody to think they're tough. But this guy J. Jaw, I don't know where the, where's this where's this the Young Turk studio because does he also wear baggy pants? Because he you know I think he must want to get around with the black. He want to roll with the black movement. You know he want to roll. He acts you know, he, like he's trying to roll with with being black and being hip. Hey J. Jaw, do you wear baggy pants as well? I mean because you know you, you know I, I mean you, 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 well, what's what's up with all that? <laughs> Nailed it. Nailed it. So, JHR, uh, apparently uh, the, the people want to know, do you wear baggy pants? Do you roll like that? <clears throat> the worst part is, it's, I, I was, you know, obviously he's talking. This is fun. He has no idea. I'm, I'm so against baggy pants. I, it actually makes me cringe. I get pissed when I see folks sagging in their pants. It's one of my biggest pet peeves. But anyway, because I'm an old man. I'm an old man like that. Whatever. <laughs> but, Grandpa uh, JHR. Yeah, again, it's the same thing. The black movement with dreadlocks and baggy pants. Baggy pants have nothing to do with any black movement at all. What black movement you see as he puts up a picture of Lil Wayne, because Lil Wayne is part of the black movement in America, the intellectual black movement that's really looking to, to advance the race in the country. Either way it goes. There's so many points. I'm trying to remember everything he possibly said in there. Yeah. Uh, the, the number one oh, the, point the, the is hair. that you're a sissy. The hair, no, the, yeah. the, the hair, right? Yeah. Because if you wear a process in your hair and perm it and put a conk in it, that, is that's the way the black movement really was. The real, <laughs> real black folks straighten the shit out of their hair and turn into a conk, and then, you know, you, that, that's how it really works. People wore real, the natural black hair, fake. Yeah, fake. well, that, that would again uh, appear to be ironic, <laughs> okay? But I think a lot of irony is lost on Pastor Manning. And I hate to say it, he probably got his ass whooped at one point by some dude with dreads. And he's like, man, they're tough guys. They whooped my ass. <laughs> you know, that's the thing. I don't have an image of uh, people in dreadlocks as like particularly tough. You have an image as Rastafarians of, as being laid back. Yeah, you laid know? back, smoke some right? weed. So like, I don't know where he came. To, <laughs> like, this guy's the master of stereotypes, right? He missed, he missed the main one. Dreadlocks, he's smoking, right? Yeah, exactly. But so no, but you're right. He must have gotten his ass kicked at some point with a guy with dreads, and so because he probably insulted him about his skin color or something. <laughs> I talked about how a porter had his way with his mom or something, got his ass kicked, mm -hmm. and then turns around and says, oh, these dreadlock guys, they always think they're tough. 